truck drivers. What's a creepy story you've got from the middle of nowhere? A good buddy of mine is a long haul trucker for my company. A few months ago, he woke up in a parking lot surrounded by police. Some dude had gotten shot and dumped 15 feet from his truck. Driving through an abandoned section of Baltimore at 3 in the morning. My CB radio turned itself on and crackled for a bit. Out of nowhere some voice over the radio said in a deep southern drawl. I ain't got no panties on. I could see up and down the interstate for miles and saw not one set of headlights. Not exactly creepy but definitely terrifying. My father was a truck driver and he was driving through a smaller town in Northern California hauling tomatoes. Suddenly he got incredibly tired. Wasn't low on sleep or deprived at all but ended up passing out at the wheel. Last thing he saw was the light of the town in front of him. He woke up about two hours later on the other side of town. Perfectly parked on the side of the road. He swears something was looking out for him that night. Driving through a national park in the middle of the night going through a slow stretch at about 30 km per hour. Every so often I think I see something out the window and beside me. Just a glimpse of movement. When I I O O K though I don't catch it. Finally on about the third time I whip my head around and this time I recognize it's a huge black wolf following alongside my truck just off the highway. I only saw it for a few seconds before I had to focus back on the road but it was absolutely lovely yet unsettling. The obligatory. Not a truck driver but a second hand story I heard. My great uncle drove big trucks. Living in the middle of nowhere sometimes people would leave trash on the road, and since he had a big truck he'd just smash into said boxes or paper and continue on. One day he was coming up on a cardboard box and just had the urge to swerve and miss this one. He misses it and passes by with no incident, looks in his rear view to look at the box and out pops a kindergarten age little kid. That just heads back to their house as nothing happened. I was in the middle of absolutely nowhere in Texas and getting so tired and there were absolutely no lights anywhere around me but the stars. I guess I kinda messed up a turn at one of those forks in the road. When a calm voice came loud over the CB. Driver. Looks like it's time for you to pull over and grab some sleep. So I did. I'm not ignoring invisible citizen band Jesus. Edit. Wow you all made my cake day amazing that is my biggest upvote post yes. Maybe I am cool. My uncle was a long haul trucker for almost 30 years. He did a lot of runs through Texas and said that some of the small towns gave him a weird vibe. Like he absolutely didn't belong there as an outsider and should just make his delivery and leave ASAP. Not exactly relevant but still creepy AF. My dad is a trucker and about 20 some years ago, a woman committed suicide by running out in front of him. He said that every night around the time she died. The cab of his truck would drop a few degrees in temperature and he felt a presence. He said this went on for a few weeks and finally he spoke out to her and said he forgave her and wished that she had peace. He said he never experienced the eeriness again. Not me. But my mom told me a story about one late night out trucking. Her husband was sleeping in the back. And she was starting to get super tired. And struggling to stay awake. She heard another trucker on the CB. And started chatting with him. He helped her stay awake for the run until she stopped off at a truck stop until her husband could take over. That next morning, she told her husband what happened, and he told her the CB was broken, and that was impossible. Not a truck driver but was on the final leg of a 16-hour drive from Florida to Northern Ohio with a caravan of about 8 cars and half of us drivers. Most of us up for 12 plus hours at this point and everyone else in the cars sound asleep. Swear we saw a man walking his dog on the side of I-75 in the middle of nowhere between Cincinnati and Dayton at 3 a.m. To this day still don't know if that was real or we were hallucinating. But either way it was pretty creepy. Making the long drive back to our university one midnight. My friend and I both saw a freakishly huge dog or wolf looking creature on the side of the road. Eyes glowing and everything. It had been quiet in my truck before this. But we both saw it at the same time and yelled out. We don't live in an area with wolves. So I've often thought about it. Our bet has always been some alpha dog or coyote that has grown huge in the woods. Or a bear that we both just mistook for a canine. Very much looked like a canine though. Not a creepy one per se but anytime I haul through Navajo Nation in New Mexico it's fucking terrifying. One night it's pitch black and there's an old man as aged as death walking along the right side and he stops and turns to hitchhike but as I get closer he's just staring at me and moving closer from the shoulder into the road. 
I have to swerve to the left not to kill him. 